Welcome back to the My Manager Career, Blackburn Rovers. We are in Season 2, Promotion, Premier League. Now the real test happens. Can we stay out of relegation? Can we stay in this top tier of the Premier League? That is our aim. We ultimately just want to sit around mid-table. Like that will be a win this season, I think. And I think, you know, with a few changes to the squad, we might be able to achieve that. Now to have a look at the objections, we've got youth development, sign at least three players younger than 20, with a potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. And then long-term objective is within two seasons, have at least two players from the youth academy sign in the first season, play at least 30% of the games in the next. Brain exposure, get five clean sheets at home. Domestic success, avoid relegation, that is the aim and uh, round 16 of the FA Cup. And then financial, we've got 3.25 profit from youth players. And we've got the, the rest of the season to get that 42%. Now looking at the scouting, uh, there was a few players that I put in the uh, community board that we wanted to have a look at. Burkhard was one of them. We've got Kuna, which we've still got to scout. We've got Pedro. And uh, they were the three that were potentially that we looked to sign in this transfer window. Uh, overall, at the moment, we've got 50% of yous have voted for Pedro. Um, we might look to sign him. He has lost that position here to Garcia uh, for Brighton. So he is currently playing off the bench. Um, so he's probably looking at, you know, getting a fresh start somewhere else. Huge potential with him. Uh, so he could be the signing that we pick up to partner with Leonard. And then obviously Asante can still play the wing positions, if not the centre forward. Now looking at the defence, ultimately you guys have all voted 100% just Lewis Hall is who you want. He's currently only got 12 months left on his Chelsea contract. So we will see if we can sign him now and be the first signing of this season two. And see if we can get him through on a bargain here from Chelsea Value is 3 million, 3.9. I'm going to stuff around. I'm going to give him four just purely for we want him. We want to lock him in. And I think 4 million for Lewis Hall is a fantastic deal. Ultimately, he will be taking the position of uh, potentially left back and Pickering might move across to the right. Or we do look at the loan options for a veteran. Uh, why Jarvis does improve on that one. We're only looking at rotation. He wants important. You know what? It's going to get game time, so I don't see that being an issue. He's 19, so we're going to go for the five years. We don't want a release clause. Remove the bonus, and we should be fine with the contract. And that's it. We've got him. Our first big sign in here, the young kid from Chelsea, Lewis Hall. Strengthen in that back line. That is the aim here. And then obviously if we do add Pedro, that did, does give us a bit of a boost up front. We only really want to sign three people in this transfer window. We don't want to have an absolute overhaul. And I think Lewis Hall is a great addition. Looking good in the blue and white with the rose. Can he make a name for himself here in Blackburn? Four million. I think a great signing for a 70 overall young 19 year old. And it says he could play CB. I think his best position is left and right back. They say we could got him for 2.4. I'm happy with the four on that one. So looking at the strikers, we're obviously scouting Burkhart and Kuna, but Pedro is probably the guy that we are definitely looking to sign. And I think he could be a great addition. So we'll let the scouts go ahead with that and then see what we can do from there. Now with all the departures here, we've got Telelovic, Trotstad, Wolstead, Rankin Costello, Pears, all leaving the club. It does leave us with a bit of money. We do have 70 million in the bank for this uh, season starter. So we definitely got a bit of cash to spend if we need to, uh, but we obviously have been able to bring in Lewis Hall for very cheap, only 4 million. So we'll be strategic with our money. 
make sure we don't blow it on unnecessary positions. But if we do get someone that comes through, that could be, you know, that superstar that we need. Big offer here for Roberts. We obviously haven't used him since he requested leaving the club. And we'll set the bar for 2.5 million. If we can get that, I think that's an absolute steal for him. And we'll hopefully get some of that money we lost by bringing him into the club. The Rangers have also came in here. I'm going to say 2.6 for them as the minimum. Hodges, the offers come in here. We're not looking to continue with him going into this season. So 1.1 is the offer. We'll delegate it, see if they can get a little bit better from that. Kuna's come through at 80 overall, 31 million for him. And Pedro's currently got two days left on his search. Deals come through for Barnes. We're going to accept that. And 1.1 for Hodges. Now, Leonard Offords coming here for 5.3. We're not going to entertain that yet. Another offer coming for four for Leonard. And the talks have broken down with Barnes and Hodges, unfortunately. 2.6 is coming here for Lutton Town. So we're going to accept that for Roberts. And a massive deal coming here, 3.1. It'd be great if he could go to the Rangers for 3.1. That's a great offer there. Bustos deal has come in for a loan. He's currently 63 overall. I think that would be a good loan out again for at least a year. See how he goes. And we can always loan him out again next season. Talks for Roberts have broken down here with Lutton Town. But it looks like the Rangers offer has gone through the 3.1 million. So fantastic for us. We definitely recoup some of that money that we spent to bring him in. It obviously didn't work out for us last season. Wanted out very early and we're able to capitalize on that. Hodges is also left for 1 million, one of our youth academy players. They say we could have got 1.4. I'm happy with the one. Bustos deal has gone through. Bristol City, definitely want to get him. We're happy to oblige. Now here's the big one. We've got the scouting reports coming here. We've got Burkhard. Is there anyone else that's come through here that we might be able to pick that could be a real difference maker. We do have Rayner here, 21 year old, plays right wing. I know he played at Nottingham Forest last season on loan, the American. That could be a good pickup there. We'll scout him. So the reports come through here for Pedro, 78 overall. He has been moved into that second position, substitution striker at Brighton. Doesn't look like he's got a future there. Can we loan him? We can't. But we might be able to secure him here for 24 million. That's his market value. We'll go in there and see what what we can get. You know what? We'll go 500k over just to see if we can get it over the line. They want 34. Let's see if we can do 30. Maybe we could throw in a player that we're not looking to to use in the future. We've got quite a few players in the center midfield. See if we can get away with the veteran going across. We can't. 34 million. See if we can get it down to 32. And we're able to do it. Now we just got to secure that contract. And we could have the striker just adding a bit of polish to the attack. He's young still. So that partnership with Leonard. And obviously we've got our captain right next to him. See if we can just get him with an important role. He wants critical, of course. Give it to him. He's only 22, wants five years, so plenty for us. He won't go anything there. Happy to match the contract he had now that we're in the Premier League. And we'll go 2.4 or 240,000. And there we have it. Probably our biggest paycheck here is for the striker in the club. But if he scores the goals that we, we need and keeps us out of relegation, it'll be worth every penny. So here we have it, the new number nine in Blackburn. Is Pedro, the Brazilian. He used to play for Watford, I believe, as well. Moved to uh, Brighton. Played some great matches there for them. They've gone a different direction, but now he is at Ewood Park. The number nine. 32 million. Not a bad sign in here, I think. 78 overall. Can play the wing position as well for us. They say we could got him for 25. That would have been a tough ass, that's for sure. The ever-changing squad here when you start season two or any new season, you got to make some upgrades in the pack. We obviously got Semi up front here in that center forward position. Phenomenal. Best player of the season last. 
last year. Dolan's been good for us. I'm a little bit worried about his height and strength playing in the Premier League. So I wouldn't mind doing a switch with Sigurdsson going across to the left. And that might be a Rainer bring in move to play on that right wing. We obviously got Pazlik as well that's been playing well. We've got Deli Alley in the mini middle with uh, Bakunia. Buckley also in there, Mbappe, and then our back line at the moment is Pickering, Zeze, Carter, and Hall. All in the 70 overalls, but plenty of potential in Zeze and Hall here. And Carter is still very young, only at 24 years of age. Saws, phenomenal keeper that we picked up last season, will be between the post here to start the season. With our youth academy players, as much as I'd like to keep them in the squad here, I think there's a few loans that we will transfer out, especially Palomino, Laguna, or Lungu, sorry. Bustos is already on his way out. Lambert, he's the real superstar of the future. So we will loan him out at least for this season so he continues that development. And then we do have Britain that we might play on the bench just to give a little bit more uh, polish there instead of Jarvis. And we will put Jarvis out on loan as well for this season, just so he gets the game time. Potts is getting up there, 6-6 six, six overall. He might not be a bad option just to have at least on the bench, or we might look at trying to get a bit of experience there as well, just to back up the, the front two. We do have Heim, 72 overall that we could put in there and then send Potts out at least for another season for development. That could be an option that we look to do there. The Durant, we're going to send him off from the transfer. I don't see us bringing him in anytime soon. We've got Joe Hilton. He's 24 years of age. We don't see him. We've got the young keepers coming through the Youth Academy. Lambert, definitely only going out for a loan. Jarvis is another one we'll send out on loan. Gent, not seeing that we're going to use him anytime soon. Same with Bloxham. Palomino, Youth Academy player there. We'll definitely send him away. Jack Fale, 23 years of age, 63 overall. I think that's one that we're just going to send off. Connor, we'll send him on another loan. Lungu, will go on another loan on that one. We've got Neil currently out there, 64 overall. Chardo, 66 overall at the moment and his development. So we'll continue to work on that. And the big one here, Potts. They're saying he's already reached his capacity at 66 overall in the center back position. That's a big one there. It was one that we definitely were looking at for the future. And that might be one that we just transfer out. Garrett, just don't see a future for him with us, unfortunately. Pickering still developing well there. And we'll keep him on that development plan. We do have Lewis Travis back here, 73 overall. So in that center midfield, we've got Deli Ali, Bakuna, Buckley, and Travis. Sharing that mid. Dolan, Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson's hit his max at 75, but geez, he was good last season. We've got Dolan still improving. He's only 22 years of age. His passing's a little bit low. Same with his shooting at the moment. I will work on his uh, passing. And we obviously got the new kid in. Can always work on that attacking position, shot power, long shot, short passing, dribbling, and ball control. Development wise, here for Paul, we'll be working on his defensive positioning. So he'll be a wide back, interceptions, defensive awareness, but also his passing ability. Now we've got our competition that we'll be playing in the preseason. Why we work out the squad that we do want to start the Premier League with. And of course, we're going to go the big dollars. 2.6 million here will be what we're aiming for. And that is the European International Cup. And our first loan out here will be to Bristol City on a 12-month contract. And that will be Bustos. Deals coming in here for Buckley, 74 overall. And for 8 million. It's an interesting one. It's for Brentford here at the moment. We've got to keep that depth in the middle. Another player moved on here for 610,000. Just wasn't going to see the game time. So we wish him all the best. He's one of our young players coming through the ranks. We've had some loan offers come in here. We've also got Lambert. Definitely not going to do a loan to buy. We're not looking to lose him. We have had an offer come in here for Ghent, which we will let him work his magic, the assistant. So the big match day here, we've got Hamburg 
We're going to go with the main lineup, which is going to give Pedro his first start here for Blackburn, as well as Hall on the wing. Just going to make sure we don't have clashing uniforms here. So we will go with the black just to make sure. Pickering's going to take the other wing here. And obviously Zaze and Carter on the back line, as mentioned earlier. The new number nine getting ready with the squad. The nerves will be kicking in, that's for sure. Big match for the new recruits. A chance to shine. Ball with the ball. Nice ball down to Sigerson. Tries to chip it over the top there. Carter having a slide across, does well. Supports his young, young right back at the moment. Ball down to Sigerson. Back in the middle. And we've got Delhi now with the ball. Nice ball through to Pedro. He had two defenders around him. Not much he could do there. Ball goes out wide. Ball sliding out. Pass in the middle there. Oh, what a pass there from Hall. What a pass from Hall. If he gives us plays like that, he could be the buy of the season. What a nice pass there from the right back. Finds his captain. And he just settles it and finishes where he's left off last season with a beautiful goal there to open it up. Incredible season there. Last one, obviously winning the club award. And obviously a fan choice by you guys on the community board. Rating him our best player. But it was hard to, to not see. Ball goes wide here. Oh, almost. Pickering's going to have to slide back here to support. He does well, Pickering. Nice play. Does have Delhi and Dolan, sorry. Delhi does. Zayse comes up there defensively. Nice long ball through to Delhi here. Steps back. Almost squeezed it in there, Delhi Alley. Semi having to come up. Miss cues on that one, unfortunately. Taze pushing up here defensively. This is. And they tied all up here, 33 minutes in. Unfortunately, the centre back got pulled out there. And they make us pay. They just come straight back in there. Nice run there by their number seven. Oh, Zaze shouldn't have been pulled out there. Oh, that's a poor start there from the capped. Nice, nice play there defensively. Cuts it off. We counter here. Let's get the ball through to Semi here. Turns it around. Defense just crowding too much. Ball down to Lewis again. And get a nice ball through. Semi does. Oh, what a play. Lewis Hall. Another little soft touch through the line to his captain. Pedro's on the inside there. Could have potentially a little chip over the top if needed. Way to settle your nerves. First game of the season for Lewis Hall. Two assists. 
great start to his to his career. And we just got to defend this lead. We're up one at the moment. Delhi's coming across here, trying to put some pressure on. Defensive wise, Paul's been pretty good. Obviously, has been beat a couple of times, and the centre backs have come across the support. But it's no different to Pickering, especially when you get in the attacking line here. Oh, that is lucky. All down to Semi here. Couldn't just curl it. Tried to curl it across there. Zayze having a slide across. Oh, that is too very lucky situations there. All down to Lewis again. Oh, can he set his captain up again? Almost gets it through there with a bullet along the ground. Almost gets his captain there, hitting the hole. And Sigerson and Hall working well on this right-hand side. Unfortunately, keeper Fernandez ready for that shot. Not a lot of attacking opportunities here for Pedro yet. I say that. But he just kind of fumbles it a little bit there. Not the best start for his campaign here at Blackburn. But it's pre-season. It's what you kind of get with it, unfortunately. It looks to be a penalty here, just outside the box. And we're going to bring on Buckley as well, just to round out the match. Big chance here for Semi. And he squeeze it over the line here. Fortunately, absolutely no power in that one. Not the best of a fantastic opportunity. Lewis Hall push, pushing up. Great defensive pressure there. Pedro also trying to get up there defensively. Probably put a little bit too much body shot into that one. Sigerson and Semi. Beautiful pass there from Hall. Pedro, unfortunately, pass just not where it needed to be on that one. Definitely not his best match, Pedro. But take a bow. Lewis Hall and Semi. 39-61 split on possession. Now man the match, of course, Semi. Getting the two goals. And here we have Lambert. We'll be going out on his 12-month deal. Uh, loan deal. Obviously, quality player that we want to continue to develop. Palomino's out on loan again this season. Going to Portland in the American League. Jack Vale, we have sold for 1.1 million. Obviously, we didn't see us playing him anytime soon. And he's still young, so you might be able to get a bit more game time somewhere else. But next up, we do have game two here, which we will be going with the second squad. And that will be, obviously, Asante starting up there. One position that I will make a quick change will be bringing on Britain over Hall, just so we don't risk any injuries. And Mbappe and Buckley are going to play in the middle here. We've obviously got Mbappe currently on a loan deal. 6-6 six, six overall. 
I'm tempted to sign him and then obviously put him out on loan somewhere else. Just so he gets over that 70 before we obviously can start using him in the Premier League. It's a big opportunity here for Pazlik, Leonard, Asante, all pushing for positions. Sigerson as well. Obviously our scouting Rainer at the moment. Very young, talented American. Did go on loan to Nottingham last season. Does he want to come back to the Premier League and help Blackburn stay up on that one? Buckley cuts that pass off. Now Britain with the ball. That's a poor pass there from Britain. Puts us in all sorts of danger. I'm trying to get up there defensively. Not how you want to start the, the second match of this preseason. All over here. Buckley trying to push up. Unfortunately, just not getting where we need to be to get this ball back. Nice play there by Leonard. Great play by Leonard. What a play. Great defense there by the young striker. Nice shot there. He's definitely a star of the future. Now we're up 1-0. Great defensive play there by Asante and Leonard with the steal and the quick pass afterwards. Ah, uh, poor pass there by Mbappe. Zeze comes up. Doesn't get the ball. In the counter-attack here. Ball into the middle. Sigerson sliding across. Nice block there by Pickering. Pickering with the clearance. Got Sigerson underneath it. Just couldn't get there in time. Ball goes out wide here. Bappe sliding across, miscues. Deze comes out of line. Pickering as well, defensively trying to put some pressure on. And he miscues it there. A nice recovery there by Sigerson. And Source with the save. Pressure's on at the moment. Let's see if we can keep him out. Bappe, he's got to chase that ball over. I don't know why he was just standing there. Ball into the middle here. We'll chip over the top to Sigerson. He just couldn't hold on to that ball. Probably should have kept that ball on the ground. Zaze's going to have to slide across here. Ball into the middle. goes over here and that's going to be the half 1-0 oh, geez it's been a tough match all out to Asante so that was Sigerson turns it back in the inside got a bit of space here but just couldn't get it around there Zeze with the defensive play oh, it's nice work by the Centre back. Sigerson pushing up. Bappe. Oh, 
Oh, defensively there, we just kind of let him get around that line. That was terrible defensive sliding. Steps around Heim there. Not the way you want to start the second half, that's for sure. All over to Sigurdsson here. And again, defensively there, they put the pressure on. Zay having a slide over. All across goes the Saws, and he quick plays through to Pazlik here. He does have Leonard. Britain just getting kind of caught up there. But he stays on the ball. It's going to be a throw in. Unfortunately, it ricochets off Britain there. Not what I anticipated, that's for sure. The ball goes wide. Cut off there by Heim. The ball goes down here to Britain. Unfortunately, unable to get that ball back. We'll chip over to Leonard. Just clunky. Definitely see a bit of a difference in polish from Lewis Hall to Britain. Even though he's uh, obviously younger, he's still developing. Lewis Hall's passing's a lot more crisp, that's for sure. Nice cut off there by Zeze. Good picker in. Chip over to Sigurdsson. Corsanti. Oh, are you kidding me? Leonard. That's the polish that I was talking about earlier. You get these limited shot opportunities. And he just misses. Too much pressure. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Obviously, he's come up with big plays in the past. So it's not all doom and gloom for Leonard. Why he still develops, that's the polish that we really miss sometimes. Now trying to get the ball back. Jose having a slide across. Miscues. He's got to be offside. We've got a minute here. To try and get the ball down the field here. Oh, that's absolutely crap pass in there. And we're going to be all tied up here. Zayze's pass to Pickering just went straight to the defender. And we've got a 75-25 split in possessions. Our passing attempts were absolutely atrocious. But we made the most of it. It's a real poor, poor start to the season, I find, on that one. We've got to be better. If we are to stay up. Another loan out here. Southampton, 12 months. Machado. We've obviously got Potts going to Stoke City for just over a million. One of our Youth Academy players. Unfortunately, he tapped out full development at only 6'6 overall. And uh, we wish him all the best. The young Australian. Got Gent moving on on a million dollar deal as well. Now let's see if we can finish this with a bang. Ultimately, we've been struggling with the connections. Real concern is the polish that we have in the depth. Obviously, we had a phenomenal first match with uh, Lewis Hall and Semi connecting. So we started strong. Nice little combination with Lewis Hall and Semi in that first match. 
We went with the second squad in the second match. Try to see how our depth played. That was clunky. So some concerns, unfortunately, showing up. Unfortunately, Hall couldn't get that pass through there. But it's a long season. So we'll see what we can continue to do here. And that's a beautiful pass there to Dolan. Unfortunately, Semi just couldn't get that ball late there. Pickering sliding across. Carter. Zayze, nice play. Dolan now with the ball. Gets it out to Pedro. We'll chip into the box. And that was a header from too far. Carter slides through there defensively. Pickering miscues defensively on that one. Zayze is going to have to come across. Lewis Hall cuts off that cross. Great play by the young kid. Now Sigurdsson with the ball. He probably just held that ball a little too late. Pedro really didn't have anywhere to run with that one. Nice play there by Carter. Ball into Bacuna. Down to Pedro. Nice pass through to Sigurdsson here. Defense all over him, unfortunately. Just couldn't get enough around that defender to really set up semi. With 30 minutes into this third match. Almost cut off that pass. That was dangerous. Now Hall with the ball. Ball back to Hall here. Cross there. Just a little bit too shallow. Acuna just couldn't get up on that one, unfortunately. Ball's going to have to slide across here defensively. Pushing up. And now Sigurdsson with the ball. Down to Semi. Ball back in the middle here. Dolan tries to get up there but just couldn't get there. And that's going to be the half. Unfortunately, very clunky. We're bringing the momentum from game two into game three. Not how we want to start this, that's for sure. Defensively, Carter's going to have to slide across here. Nice block. We really want to give Pedro enough time to really settle before we kick into the season. Got to learn his play style as well. Obviously, everyone has a different type of running pattern. He is new. We'll give him a chance. Oh, Sauce with the save. Pickering. Getting up there, Zayze coming up defensively, trying to put the pressure on. He does well there. A nice pass there from Delhi. Steps back on the inside. Just couldn't get that pass away. The feet were in there. He had Pedro screaming for the ball. Lewis, unfortunately, maybe tried to do a bit too much with the ball there. Nice play there from Delhi. Steal that ball just before. Again, just probably delaying those passes a little too much. Ball into the box. Carter blocks it. Ball goes out to Pedro here, and he does have Sigurdsson with him. But he doesn't run onto it.
Nice block there from Hall. Spin there by Pedro. Tries to step back on the inside there, Semi. All down to Sigerson here. That's a nice pass there to Hall. What a play. Hold your breath and let the, the experience shine, that's for sure. Ball with a nice play down the right from Sigerson. Gets the ball into Delhi. And a nice pass into his captain. He just slices it past the keeper. Defensively, we've been a little bit scrappy, but we've held it out at the moment. We've just got to continue that. All out to Dolan here. Does have a Pedro on the inside. Unfortunately, that pass just not accurate, not where it needed to be. Pass over the top here. Zayzay's caught out. Pickering sliding across. Oh, Sauce with the save. Oh, Zayzay getting a little bit ambitious. Trying to cover the wing as well as centre back. And we get the win. 46 54 split on possession. And our man of the match, Semi. So while it was clunky, while we weren't happy with the gameplay, we did win the tournament with the two wins and the draw. So we do get another 2.6 added to the kitty, uh, which is fantastic. And obviously another offer here come through for 2.1. The Garrett, which we will accept. Now to wrap it up, appreciate you guys joining me on season two, episode one. The big question is, we've got Rayner that we are scouting at the moment, roughly about 33 million. We'll still have about 10 million left over in the kitty afterwards. Pedro wasn't his best performance in the preseason, but he's definitely got improvement there. His shooting ability is going to be first class. We just got to get a little polish to his game uh, on that one and how he'll kind of play with uh, semi up front. My concern is Dolan, his height, he's only 5'5", five five, 139 pounds, and we're now in the Premier League. Do we potentially move Sigerson across to the left, bring in Rayner, and he plays on the right, which is his preferred position. Dolan moves to the bench, and then obviously that does move Pazlik, which we might transfer out on that one. 72 overall, he's still got plenty of development opportunities there. But that might be the unfortunate one that we do move on. All phenomenal. Going to be a player of the future, that's for sure. And ultimately, we've got to get a vet. Pickering has been playing well, but he is only 73 overall, and he's not going to be getting much better than that. The, the middle two, they obviously, the more they play, the better they're going to be. 19 and only 24. And Delhi has started this season strong after a preseason with the squad. He seems to be playing well. Bakunya, solid in the middle. And then we'll obviously we've got Buck Buckley as well. But we're starting to lose a bit of depth here. That's the big kicker when we're transferring out these youth academies. Uh, we will start losing some depth. But we've got 44 million. And when we look at it, Rain is potentially going to be about 33. That's what we're looking at. And he does play that right wing or right midfield. So let me know your thoughts. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate the support on the community page as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.